Hey, what is up guys? I'm Anush Patel from AndroidRoots.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at Puri ROM for the Nexus 5. And if you guys are actually interested in flashing or downloading and flashing this ROM on your very own Nexus 5, link is down below in the video description where you can go ahead and pick up this zip file ROM uh, right down below. Um, so here it is, Puri ROM, and let's go ahead and directly just dive right into settings as that is where all the magic happens. So right here under settings and under Purity system is where you have all the options, all the features, and just all the fun you can have. Have with this ROM. Uh, so let's go ahead and just start from top to bottom and we'll go ahead and kind of give you a summary of each each tab and what it does and I'll show you demonstrations of a couple of them too. If I did show you a demonstration of each and every feature it'd be just way too long probably like 20 minutes long. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so here is status bar right at the top. Um, so let's go ahead and change and play with the battery icon. Um, so we can go ahead and change the style of it. Uh, so right here under circle, you have text, hidden even. Um, so right now mine is under circle, and as you can see, there's a circle right there at the top of the corner right there. Um, you can do it to landscape icon, and now it is landscape. Portrait is where it was originally where uh, when you installed by default. And if you want to hide it and just live on the edge because you don't care when your phone dies, or maybe it just never ends because your phone is so magical, <laughs> you have the option to do that too. Uh, pretty neat right there if you can go ahead and change a little bit there. Um, also, I found useful is double tap uh, to sleep. So double tap the status bar to make your phone go to sleep. And boom, there it goes. Um, it's especially useful if your power button doesn't work or if you're just too lazy to actually tap on the power button and rather just tap on the screen. Uh, maybe just it's more convenient for you or, you know, really whatever reason. Um, so that's pretty much enough a status bar. Let's go ahead and dive into quick settings now. Um, so you have a quick pull down. Pretty much everything is basic up here. You can also go ahead and under tiles and layout, I believe, you can go ahead and add more. So we can go ahead and add a couple more. And I just love playing with this camera. So we're going to go ahead and add camera. And it's a really, really neat feature with camera. Um, so boom, there is cameras added. And you think by usual, if you never tried out this feature, you think the camera application is just going to launch. But you're wrong there. Uh, so if you go and tap on camera, it actually launches it within the quick settings uh, interface. So as you can see, so you can quickly take a picture. If you go and tap on it, boom, it took a picture. Tap on it again, boom, it takes a picture really, really quickly. Autofocus, it, it does autofocus by itself. It just does everything by yourself. All you have to do is just tap on it and it'll take a picture. Really, really useful for all those quick moments when it only happens once in a lifetime. Oh, and you saw a little bit of lag there. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Um, probably just once, uh, one time, especially since it is a Nexus 5. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at a little bit more. I used to have sound mode, so mine set on silence. I'm kind of confused on that as nothing shows up in quick settings. So if I look in quick settings, there's no sound at all. So I may have to add that tile in to actually make it show up. But yeah, and you also have these other options at the bottom for dynamic tiles too. Um, Wi-Fi display, USB tether, um, nothing too crazy. Pretty basic uh, so far. Uh, power menu, you can go ahead and add a couple of these options. So I added, uh, by default, your reboot menu. Uh, you can go ahead and tap a screenshot, sound panel, airplane mode, and then expanded desktop. Um, so you can make a uh, status bar visible or hidden. Um, now we can go ahead and hold that power button and then tap on expanded desktop. Both the status bar and the navigation bar do disappear and it gives you a little bit of directions on how to properly use it. Um, so you can just swipe up from the top or bottom to make the navigation bar and status bar to show up. Pretty neat. Um, I love having full screen. It makes your phone screen feel so much bigger than it already is. You know, five inches. <laughs> You're kind of pushing the limits there. Um, so that is it. Also under navigation bar, as you can see, I already went ahead and played around with it by adding the search bar right there. Uh, so you can go ahead and tap on buttons and layout right here and add a couple more. So just go ahead and tap on this unlock bar at the top. And then I believe, yes, you can go and just tap on this add option right there. And you can go ahead and add empty if you want to go and remove it or menu option. Um, so I'm just not, not even going to play with that. As you can see, I already have this search bar right here. And I can go and change it to menu button or empty. So if I want to remove it, just change it back to empty, lock it, and now you're back to normal. Um, so really nice and neat, especially if you don't like swiping up for Google now or just easily just tapping on a button. Um, can be useful and obviously you have other features with that as well. Um, also the dimensions, so you can go ahead and change up the size. Um, so you, if you have big fingers, you can go all the way up to 50, uh, 54 dp, um, and now it's really big. And you can go all the way down to zero if you want to hide it, or all the way down to 20 to make it really, really small if you have tiny fingers, 
or just want a bigger screen real estate. So we'll go ahead and bring it back to default just because it's easier, especially in this video. Um, also, you have a quick launch shortcuts right here. So you can go and add a couple more. So we can go ahead and add, take screenshots and we can also add, let's go ahead and add um, toggle torch. And yes, I like how they're themed up too. So it's not just an application or something. Um, that's pretty much it. So now if I go and swipe up, I have screenshot. Which it, which it should, yes, it took a screenshot, or I can go ahead and turn on Torch, and boom, there is Torch right there, and just go ahead and tap on it again to turn it off, as you can see right there. Uh, pretty, pretty nice, nice and neat. And lastly, uh, pretty much, is lock screen right here. So you can go ahead and do see-through, which is also known as transparent, um, slider shortcuts, which is basically the same as what I just showed you, except for your lock screen, and you can go ahead and add uh, more features like applications and other options as well. Uh, you may have seen this uh, function a lot in other ROM reviews I've been doing recently and just in the past as well. So you have all these options, and not just only applications, but you know, uh, setting shortcuts, directions, you know, context, really just about anything you can imagine, it is there. Um, and also, lastly, you have um, clear all button on your recents. Um, so I'll show you that right here. So you have a clear all button, and I'll go ahead and clear everything out, and boom, you're all cleaned out. Um, so that is Purity ROM for the Nexus 5. Um, link down below, you can go ahead and download this ROM and flash on your very own Nexus 5. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys did enjoy this ROM review, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left-hand corner right there. Really do appreciate all the support, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, which are also located down below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.